Today, Problem Brothers is here in District 19, a Hokkang area, and just right behind me, we are here again today at Boathouse Residences. We are heading up to a two plus study, size at 915 square feet, with a well renovated of $80,000 have been pumped into the renovation. So, why not follow and check this unit out together with me? So coming to this unit, let's talk about some facts about this project. Boathouse Residences is a 99 years leasehold condo that TOP in 2015. This also means that we have a very healthy balance lease of 87 years left. This development occupies a land area of 13,000 square meters. There are a total of six blocks here and the project comprises of a total of 493 units. This project was jointly developed by Fraser Centerpoint, Far East Organization, Sekisui House and the architect behind this project was designed by Consortium 168 Architect Private Limited where they design many familiar residential projects like Triple One Emerald Hill, Sofa Hill, Twin Waterfalls, as well as Soul Acres. So now let's talk about the floor plan of this unit. This unit is type B1, size at 915 square feet, which comprises of two bedroom, two bathroom, featuring a living area, kitchen, with a good sized balcony that have two adjoining doors from both of the bedrooms. And lastly, the study room. So enough of the hard facts and let's kickstart the home tour. So coming to this unit wise, you've been greeted with a very nice private kind of foyer where you have a full hung of cabinetries that have already been done up. So total of a 12 panels of shoe cabinetries that have already been in place. And towards my right hand corner, you have even more ample of storage where you have a, your DB box here. Plenty of storage here, all your vacuum cleaner and bulky items can be here as well. You can even put up a very nice painting towards the front which one owners have actually done. And you've got a shoe sitting area before you actually head out. Coming on in to the unit itself, you actually have a window towards the right-hand corner. So this is actually very good in terms of ventilating the whole house. Living area, very good span of 4 over meters in terms of the sofa to the TV area. So what the owners have actually done is that if you realize the floor tiles that we are actually standing on, is a marble light kind of homogeneous tiles that the owners actually lay over throughout the entire living and dining and towards the foyer area. So in terms of the floor to ceiling, you can realize that all the bedrooms as well as the living room, you enjoy this very high 3.3 meters ceiling height. Towards my left, you have three large panels of floor to quite a high ceiling kind of configuration that have really been in place and this will permit a lot of natural light flowing into your living area thus giving you a very nicely well littered kind of house. So right now, we are at the balcony area of this unit and in terms of facing wise, we are predominantly facing towards the east direction. This is very useful in terms of uh, drying out your laundry in the morning. And just across, you can actually see Kingsford Water Bay project and what the developers have actually done is that they actually grow up some high trees. This is actually to show off some privacy that your unit will actually enjoy. In terms of noise wise, we are actually facing towards the Upper Sarangoon View Road. This road is generally not very noisy as this road predominantly serves the residents staying in this enclave. So right now, you can see that uh, the owners actually changed out the tiles of the balcony. They are currently using herringbone tiles. The owners actually use this space as their child area. Alternatively, you can actually use this area as your workout zone or maybe you can even do your yoga here. So it's a very nice span of 4 meters by 1.9 meters. So what the owners have actually done is that they actually installed a spigot drying rack here that you can do your laundry. Whereas towards the front, the owners have actually installed a zip track system to show off some rain. If you have a heavy downpour, you can actually close up your zip track or you want to contain some aircon into us. your balcony area, you also can do so. So something unique about this balcony also is that you have two adjoining doors. One is from the master bedroom towards my back and another common adjoining door towards the common bedroom. So now enough of the interior and let's pull up the site plan and let's have a look at this project. So in terms of location analysis, our project here today is along Upper Serangoon Road and Upper Serangoon View. In terms of amenities wise, we have a wide array of facilities and amenities around this area. So the location of both house residences is a draw cut to the residents staying here. This is because there are several major expressway leading around the area nearby here. So if you are driving, you will be pleased to know that connectivity will be a breeze as we are strategically located just a mere 3 minutes drive to KPE and travelling up north 
of KPE, you can reach TPE, where you can reach Changi Airport in about 12 to 15 minutes. Alternatively, if you travel south on KPE, it will lead you to CBD and the southern part of Singapore. There's also a shuttle bus available to Hougang MRT as well. From Hougang MRT, it's just two stops to Sango Interchange where you can board the Circle Line and travelling two stops, it will bring you to Bishan, which is the interchange for the North-South Line. On the other direction of Serangoon, in three stops, you can reach Maperson for the interchange of the Downtown Line. In future, when the upcoming cross island Line is fully functional at Haokang, it's three stops where you can reach Passeries Interchange for the East-West Line. From Passeries, we can continue the journey to cross island Line or head over to Tampines on the East-West Line in just one stop, which we then can board the Downtown Line. Otherwise, on the opposite direction of the cross island Line, we can reach Amokyo in just three stops where the North-South Line are already present. So what does that mean to residents staying here in this area is that connectivity will be a breeze. So in terms of amenities around the near vicinity of Boathouse residences, for groceries options, there are the NTUC Fair Price at 476 Upper Serangoon View and Cold Storage at 266 Compassville Bowl. Nearby shopping malls also include Haokang Mall, Rivervale Plaza and Compass Point. For primary school within the one kilometer, we have the CHIJ, Our Lady of the Nativity, as well as Pongo Primary School. For secondary school, we have Serangoon Secondary School, North Vista Secondary School, Holy Innocent Secondary School and Singkang Secondary School. So in terms of recreation activity around this area, residents can enjoy Pongo Park which is walking distance from our residence here. Within both house residences, as well, you have a wide array of amenities like the 15 meter lap pool, gym, children pool, tennis court, barbecue pit and a function room. So coming into the common bedroom, you have a very nice sizable kind of bedroom here. Towards the front end, facing towards the east, you have a very nice greenery view. In terms of size-wise, very sizable, you can definitely fit in a queen-size bed. Right now, owners are using this as their study area. Towards the front, they actually have placed in a Murphy bed. A full height kind of wardrobe space that have been done. Towards the upper area, you can actually put in all your bulky items. So upon exiting your common bedroom, you have a four panels of storage space. So this is very useful to put in your smaller household items like your ironing board. So coming into the common bathroom, you will realise that this bathroom is very well maintained, very well done up, renovated wise. Underneath this sink, you have a washing machine. So it's hidden here, very nice. You can do your washing here, after that you can hang it on your balcony. Towards the back end, you have a very nice kind of rain shower that actually blend into the entire theme of the house. WC as well as so the large mirror and sink have already been in place. Everything all fits very nicely in terms of the theme of this cold common bathroom. Now on to the kitchen, very nice kind of kitchen concept right where you have actually a bar table here so if you have guests coming over over the weekends to visit you, you know, you can actually do up some meals here where your guests sit at the front. Towards the back end, you actually have a tree induction kind of hop as well as also a male hood. And towards the lower end wise, you actually have an Electrolux oven. So one thing that you realise about this kitchen is that it's fully enclosable, right? You have your bifold window over towards the front as well as a sliding door. So what do this mean to buy it out there is that if you do a lot of heavy cooking, you can actually close up the bifold window as well as also close up the sliding door and you have additional ventilation ventilation window, natural ventilation window towards the front. So something to note about this kitchen is that when you are washing your dishes wise, you still enjoy a very nice pool view facing from the main pool. So in terms of cabinetry wise in the kitchen area, you realise that is you have a very good deep size cabinetry that are all repeat in place. So in terms of drawer wise, all are soft closings. So everything all is really done up for you. And towards the back end of the kitchen area, you have a space dedicated to put your single door fridge. Let's take a look at the pricing comparison around the Haokang and Bangkok vicinity and what are the options you might have. River sale TOP in 2016 per square foot pricing is around the 1,300 region. As for Heron Bay, TOP in 2015, the PSF is about the 1,002 to 1,300 odd. As this is being an EC, the price is naturally slightly lower as compared to a pure condominium. Kingsford Water Bay, TOP in 2018, PSF is ranging from the 1,003 per square foot to 1,005 per square foot. Around the area, we also have slightly older developments like 
Real Vista, which TOP in 2004. PSF is ranging at 1001 to 1002. And zooming into the new launches around the area, we have Riverfront Residences that had just collected their keys. Riverfront Residences, TOP in 2023, their PSF is about $1,500 per square foot to $1,800 per square foot. And if you were to look at the new launches around the Bangkok area, they are the Sengkang Grand, which is set to TOP at the end of 2023, where the PSF are already transacting between the 1007 to 1900 range. The owner there are likely to be selling at $150 to $200 per square foot more than what they have purchased. This will give us a very good disparity of $400 to $500 per square foot difference. Our project here at Boat House Residences, TOP in 2015, our unit is going at 1.23 million, size at 915 square feet, and the PSF is asking at 1,344. So if you're looking for a decent size of two plus studies, size at 915 square feet, and you want to stay around the Hokkang and Upper Serangoon Precinct, and you want to keep your quantum to be about a 1.2 million range, this might be the unit that you're searching for. So let's talk about the financial calculation on the mortgage breakdown. Assuming you'll be purchasing this together with your partner, both are 35 years old this year, and earning a combined salary of 14,000, and buying this as your first property at an asking price of 1.23 million, the buyer's stamp duty will be at 33,800, and if you're taking a bank loan in terms of the down payment, there are the 5% cash component of 61,500, 20% will be either CPF or cash, which equates to 246,000. The remaining will be a bank loan with up to 75% loan to value, which is at 922,500 with a maximum loan tenure of 30 years and a bank interest rate of 3.5%. The monthly installment for this unit will be at $4,142. Assuming each of you earns $7,000, your monthly repayment can be further offset with your CPF OA contribution of $1,380 each, which totals up to $2,760. The cash outlay per month is a cash top up of $1,382, which equivalent to less than $1,000 per person. So I think the most exciting part about this house would be the master bedroom. The reason behind is because the owners actually combined their study room to become a walk-in wardrobe space, making this whole entire bedroom a very majestic and large grand master bedroom. So towards my left, what the owners have actually put in is a king-size bed. You do not feel that the room is very small, even a king-size bed is in place in this room. You still got very nice and of walking space around this area here. And in terms of facing-wise, this is the same facing as the balcony and the common bedroom. So just to add on what the owners have actually done to the walls of the room is that they actually do up a very nice hotel light wallpaper which make the whole room ambience very cozy. So come on in to the study area. So currently there's seven panels of wardrobe space that's really been in place as well as also an AC that's really at the top. So this is very useful in terms of a very hot day. You can actually turn on the aircon and dress up before you head out. So as we enter into the master bathroom, you can feel that the space is naturally quite good size. The flooring have all been done up by the owners as well as also the marble light kind of a book match tiles that have already been in place to give the whole bathroom a very nice kind of atmosphere. Rain shower have been done up as well as also the WC. Above the sink, you actually have a very compact kind of mirror where you can actually put in all your vanity items behind the storage area. You've got additional storage underneath the sink where it's quite a good size where you can put in all your items. So just to add on for the master bathroom, you have a window which is very useful in terms of naturally ventilating out all the moisture in the bathroom. And if you do notice, the shower screen as well as so the door leading into the master bathroom are all bifold. So this is very useful to save space. So now let's talk a bit on the master plan. So if you were to pull out the URA master plan around the Haokang area, you will realize that there is two plots of land that is zoned as residential zoning of a plot ratio of 3 and 3.5. And just across, there is plans for a commercial and residential land of 3.0 plot ratio. What this will mean to you as a buyer is that this will naturally uplift the price around the vicinity. With the development of Long Halus Industrial Estate, there will be new jobs cluster and as a result, there will be more open spaces, waterfront parks which residents along this area can enjoy by this upcoming facility. This will include the logistic industrial in the area which may also bring up the demand for residential in this area. There will also be a new cross island line that is phase 1 which includes a Haokang MRT station. It's expected to complete by 2030. This will enhance residential public transport connectivity. Cross Island Line will be one of the 
largest fully underground line at more than 50 kilometers long. It will serve the existing future development in the eastern, western, and northeastern corridor, connecting major hubs like the Zhong Lake District, Pongo Digital District, and the Changi region. Additionally, Pai Lebar Air Base will be relocating from 2030s, which the air base and surrounding industrial development will be transformed into a highly livable, sustainable new town. It's estimated of a size of five times the size of Topayo Town. So what this will mean to future buyers out there is that they will enjoy the spillover effect of the master growth plans that have been planned around this area. Thank you for staying to the end of this home tour and if you're looking for a 2 plus study around the Haokang area and you want to move into a generally size of 915 square feet, well renovated, keeping your quantum to about 1,300 PSF with $80,000 spent in terms of the renovation and you want to stay in an exciting master growth plan area, do give our listing manager myself a call for a physical viewing. Do remember to hit the like and subscribe button on our PLB YouTube channel to receive more of such contents. We are also available on Facebook, Instagram and TikTok. My name is Drummy Yong, Problem Brothers, always happy to share the place. Today, Problem Brothers is here in District 19, the Haokang area, and just right behind me is Boat House Residences. We are here once again, right? Should I say? Today, Problem Brothers is here in District 19, and at, we are at the Haokang. Ah. Okay, that's again, come on. There's a sink. You can actually realize that underneath the sink, right, there's actually a washer here, washing machine. Your outro. Okay, thank you.